Welcome back. Shares of Apple are higher today despite reports that App Store growth is slowing. It comes after Apple is also moving to become more self-reliant on manufacturing. Let's bring in Steve Kovac for us. Steve, the, the App Store one in particular seems to hit right at their Achilles heel. I'm surprised the stock isn't down. Yeah, and that's what, uh, you know, this, this report came out yesterday from Apple. They put out a press release every year saying, you know, look how big the App Store is, look how much money we paid to developers. But it's really, Kelly, it's the only insight we get from Apple specifically how well the app store is performing and you can kind of the math is not perfect it's a little fuzzy but our kip lessing over at cnbc.com did his best and found basically look it's kind of flat the spending there and it also backs up what tim cook told me last earnings he blamed a lot of you know the weakness in the services to a fall in gaming spending and we mm. just got some new data today kelly from data ai they track app spending and app stores and all that good stuff. And they said uh, gaming spending was down 5% across the entire mobile ecosystem. And of course, Apple feels that the worst. You know, uh, not to go on a tangent, but I did see that Twitch, uh, <laughs> usership of Twitch is down as well from pandemic levels, yeah. which of course makes sense. That's, but part, that's gaming story too. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. So let's go back. Tony Sakanagi was on here uh, recently talking about why he is somewhat bearish on Apple for the year. And I said, what about services spending and software as a service and all the rest of it? Um, his point was a lot of app store purchases are not a subscription as a service. They are one time, essentially. So if you have a pullback in consumer spending, those would be affected, too. It's not as if they're locked in. Now, whether we have that is a different issue from video games slowing, but this does illustrate that these are uh, open to the same winds that uh, blow the consumer exactly. one direction or the other. Exactly. And you want to talk about subscriptions, that same release I was talking about, Apple did say they have a new record of subscriptions. This is not just people subscribe to Apple Music and Apple services just overall through the App Store. 900 million subscriptions. That's not nothing. Wow. And that's recurring revenue that Apple gets a slice of every time. So there's some, you know, if you're looking for optimism in the service story, there's that. Another new headline if you're looking for optimism today is this Apple Maps update. Now, on the surface, it might sound kind of weird. Okay, businesses can go into Apple Maps and make sure, you know, mm, the website's very right. Very important. Make sure their phone number is right. But you can see this laying the foundation to do exactly what Google Absolutely. does with Google Maps. You know, you're cruising on the highway. You have Apple Maps running. Oh, Dunkin' Donuts right there. They paid for that promotion. Yes, I'm so, surprised they haven't done this already. Exactly. They're way, I mean, this has been the story about Apple Maps and that service for years. They're so far behind Google there. But clearly, there's a lot of opportunity there for them to monetize Apple Maps and they're better. they're not giving up. They're not definitely not giving <laughs> Don't up. Don't count them out. Of course. Steve